in this one, I want to talk a little bit about these fast chargers. Now I've given some costs of fast chargers in the past, but it uh, just kind of reminded me the other day, there's an Electrify America uh, station that just opened up fairly close to me. So I went down just to try it out. Now normally I don't charge at these things because there's no need to. But I went down, of course, uh, I'll probably do another video on this silly thing because that was a uh, kind of a nightmare to do. But anyway, uh, I'll talk about that in another video. But I was looking at the cost of each one of these. And I'm looking at specifically at cost per kilowatt. Now, they don't really tell you much about this. Nobody wants to say much about this in these chargers. But as far as I can tell, none of them charge per kilowatt. They charge per minute. Okay. First of all, that's a really dumb way to charge. I can't believe these guys cannot get this right. We've been running businesses in this country forever. We figured out how to do gasoline. You know, that was easy. That yeah, probably wasn't easy, but when we did do it, uh, okay, what, let me tell you what my experience has been. And I'm not telling you how fast the car charged and all this stuff, that's another whole issue that I got to deal with later on because that's a monster too. But this one here, uh, I did a little thing here. EVgo is one I've used and it costs 49 cents a kilowatt. Now it was charging by the time, but I mean, what do I get when I charge there? Kilowatts! I don't get time, I get kilowatts. So anyway, I'm going to say what these things cost me. Now, sometimes it'll be charging at a high rate, maybe. Uh, battery's low on charge, you know, when it gets up close to charge, it charges at a much lower rate. I'll talk more on that in another video. What my experience was, and in very simple terms, it cost me, with EVgo, it cost me 49 cents a kilowatt. That was actually the cheapest. Green lots, charged with them several times, cost me 66 cents a kilowatt. Electrify America, which was the one I just did, was the highest of the bunch at 86 cents a kilowatt. Okay. This whole thing is just kind of dumb. The battery on the car is going to charge at different rates depending on how much discharge it is. And so you're going to get more kilowatts when you first charge and less later. Mm, yeah. Okay, so why do they charge so much? Because uh, I can charge this thing in my garage for nine cents a kilowatt. Okay. Well, I found out why. My local utility puts things on the internet that pretty much tell you everything about it. Well, one of those things is that electric charging stations are charged 35 cents per kilowatt uh, when you charge a car. Now, why do they charge so much more? That's a Vista's rate to the charging company that puts up the machine. And that's, when I talked about the nine cents, that's a Vista's retail rate to me. Okay, so why is it so much higher? Well, it's about demand. Uh, utilities charge higher rates when there's a higher demand. It's because the grid has to be up to a certain point to handle uh, that amount of usage. Now, let me go over that a little more thoroughly. If I'm drawing a steady 
say 10 kilowatts. Every hour I'm using 10 kilowatts. If I'm under a demand meter and one of those hours out of the day that I normally demanded 10 kilowatts, I would demand 100. Okay, then I will be charged a demand charge. Now this is commercial, this is residential that I've ever seen. Okay, what they're doing is they're saying our grid has to be able to carry the 100 kilowatts because you used it even if it was for a short time. And that's kind of understandable. It does make some sense. How do you get around this? Well, Electrify America, I was kind of looking at this charging station, and there's a big old freaking fence thing right behind it. And I'm going, what is that? That can't be the disconnects and stuff, because they're not that big. I've seen the disconnects on others, it's just little tiny things. Well, it's a battery backup. And what they're trying to do is eliminate that demand charge by taking times when the unit or the, uh, the grid is not as busy and charging up the batteries during that time. I mean, there's, there's, there's rates, there's off-peak rates on a lot of places. We don't have them here, but there's a lot of places have off-peak rates. Um, because the, the grid has to be set up to work with that high demand. And if you reduce that demand, it does make quite a bit of difference. Okay, that's why they charge so much. Now, I don't know what Electrify America is doing. They've got battery backups, but according to my local utility, they are charging all these guys the same amount. Now, that's pretty recent numbers, uh, but I don't know for sure if they're getting a special rate. Anyway, that's why these things charge so much. Now, my primary gripe here is there has to be a way to deal with this because if I'm paying nine cents a kilowatt hour, as a retail rate, as a residential customer. Why am I paying four times as much to charge my vehicle? I understand demand. I understand how it works. But there's got to be a way to deal with this that makes some sort of sense. Now the battery backups that Electrify America uses to try to ease that are really tiny. There's something like 350 kilowatts. That's not a whole lot. But then there's not a lot of use of the stations yet anyway, so uh, maybe there's room for upgrades. But this is one of the charging problems that has just been a monster. And it is terrible. It should not be that way. I realize the same thing happened with gasoline when gasoline first came out and there were automobiles that were using large amounts of it and all you had was a 55 gallon drum that came to a hardware store and you had to hand pump it out. I understand that. That's kind of how we're doing these electric cars right now. And when gas stations came out and the bulk delivery of gasoline uh, was much more efficient then it got a lot cheaper. A lot cheaper. Well, we need something to deal with this problem here for the charging of these electric vehicles. It hasn't come yet. I'm not even sure what it will be. I think battery backup is probably a pretty good chunk of it. Uh, I mean, like I say, solar panels, but they take up incredible amounts of space. And, and so that's, I'm, I'm not against solar panels. I have them myself, but they're, they're probably not a complete solution to these things. Anyway, that is, as far as I can come up with, why they charge so much. And, of course, we have the issue of charging by minute rather than by kilowatt, which I think is the wrong way to do it. Anyway, so far that's it on this one.
I'll have more later.